Hey guys, it's Whitney and Malena here. Hi. <laughs> so this is our first YouTube video. We wanted to make sure on our first video that we showed you guys some products that we use and that we like, even some that we don't like. And then also give you a small introduction as to who we are. Very small. <laughs> so I'm Malena. This is my best friend. Hey y'all, I'm Whitney. Um, together, we are Hot Coco. We started um, our YouTube. Our first video is this one. Um, we have our Instagram at Hot Coco. We have our Facebook, also Hot Coco. If you notice, our spelling is a little bit non traditional, so you can find us on everything. We do have a Twitter, so you can follow us on Twitter. We don't tweet as much now, but we will. We say a lot of funny stuff, and I just feel like it needs to be shared. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just gonna go through. I mean, anything else you wanna say about yourself? Um, well, I'm from Louisiana. Malena is from Texas. Both of us reside in Dallas slash Arlington, DFW area. Um, so if you guys have any questions, comments, please comment below, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, we go to a lot of events and stuff too. We're, we're trying to go to more. So if there are things you want us to like go to and talk about, if you have questions, comments, feedback for us, things you want to see, makeup, we travel. So any of that stuff, please message us on any of our social media. You can leave a comment in, uh, below the video. Any of that, we're really taking the feedback because we want to make sure we're giving you guys what you want to see. Okay. So today we're just going to do a short video about some of our favorite products as I mentioned before. Melena's going to go over some foundations and some new products that she got. And I'm going to be going over some eyeshadow and highlight palettes. So we're going to start with the foundations because <laughs> that's a key part of makeup. Yeah. So I do have a few that I kind of use as my go-to's and some of these products are going to be new, some of them are going to be a little older, like nothing that just recently released, um, well one of them recently released, but I'll talk about what I use and what I like. So right now what I'm wearing is the Makeup Forever and I have this, it's the Matte Velvet Skin, it's a, how big is this tube? It is, I don't even know how, I can't, oh, there it goes. One fl fluid ounce, pretty much. So it's a small tube. I got it from Sephora. Um, you can order it online and all that as well. This is my favorite foundation. I don't know if I should have started with this one, but it's my favorite. This color matches me really well. It does keep me fairly matte and it lasts quite a bit. It doesn't have a lot of transfer. It's not super thick. I really like this one. I am in a, this is a shade Y535. And I believe it's called like chestnut. So this is my favorite foundation. This is what it looks like. I love it. Makeup forever. Um, and it says full coverage, 24 hour foundation. So yes to this one. Um, another one that I have, and I've actually gotten this, and I got it from a coworker for the first time because she went to the airport and she said they tried to match her, but she's way lighter than I am. And they gave her this, and she is not this color. So. She gave it to me, and then, so since then, that was a couple years back, I started to buy it in the Celine Comb. I don't know how to say the name. Teat Idol Ultra Wear. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is what it looks like, and this is a shade 550 Suede C, which means cool. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one as well, and this is another, again, long wear, 24 hour. Um, up to 24 hour color, wear and comfort, transfer, resistant. This is another go-to for me. I really, really, really like this one. Um, I don't wear a whole lot of foundation, so when I use it, I like to use the smallest dot and I either apply it with a, um, a brush or I'll use one of those little um, silicone pad things and I'll use, you know, just put a little bitty dot and I'll just kind of put it over my face. This goes a long way and so does the makeup forever. So I love these two. Now, more recently, I purchased the Huda Beauty and the Juvias Place. 
right? So I'll start with Huda. And again, this is her her foundation. It dropped pretty recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I um, got this from Sephora. I'm a the shade Coffee Bean 530R. Um, it's the faux, fil faux filter high coverage cream foundation. So I really like this. I do like it. This is more if I'm going to try to be like super extra. I wouldn't wear this to work. I'm wearing it today. <laughs> yeah. It's um, it's very high coverage. Like so, you, I really don't need a lot of this. Um, no. The color has like a red kind of undertone to it. I tried all her different shades in the store. This is just the one that I really really like. Um, it gives me a red tone, which I like. Um, again, this is Coffee Me, and it's the 530R. So, and this is, um, it's actually bigger than the Makeup Forever, so it's 1.18 fluid ounces. So this is Huda. I really do like this one. Now, for this, for this Ju Juvias place. Um, we'll call it Juvias. Juvias is probably bad. Juvias. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore what I said before. <laughs> The Juvia's Place, um, this is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. Um, this is the shade Malawi 230. Um, I will say it's full coverage. Um, I got this one from Ulta. I will say that I tried it on the store with several different shades. I don't know if you, you caught it, but Whitney and I went on live and we actually did like color matching in the store. Ulta has really weird lighting, so you know I'll say that before I start. So I, I don't necessarily know if it's if this is just isn't my color. Um, it looked like it matched in the store, but when I got it, I actually had to order it because they didn't have did not have the color in the store. And when it came and I put it on, I hated it. <laughs> so what I'll say, um, the color didn't match me. Um, it had a lot of olive in it, like no red at all, like nothing. So when I put it on. I mean, there was a clear difference for, for me, from my skin and the foundation. I could see it in, like, in my hairline. I'm like, this is not, this is not what it is, right? Um, this is a very thick, in my thick foundation. So, like she mentioned, I have that foundation as well. Do not like. What color? Um, mine is in the shade Angola, uh, which is a darker shade than Malawi. Um, I don't have as much red in my uh, undertone as Melena does, so we figured the darker color would probably work a little bit better for me. It still has a red undertone, but just not as bright as Malawi. Um, it is full coverage, like she mentioned. My issue with it is that it's very um, muddy. I don't know another way to describe it. It's kind of almost like Play-Doh-y. It's very, very thick. Um, and it's not lightweight. So once you apply it, you, you actually feel like you have foundation, foundation on your yeah. face. Um, it's very heavy. It transfers like you would not believe. So if you like, if you're sitting like this and you look at your hand, your hand is going to be brown. It was brown fingerprints everywhere. Everything I at touched work. at work, my whole little cubicle. Yeah, little fingerprints. And they have other yeah. they have other products that we're gonna talk about um, as well that I really like. Um, the foundation is just not one of them. it's not one of those things that's gonna work for me. It's it does last all day, but that's only in the event that you don't transfer it to every single thing yes, you that you yeah. touch. Um, so it's definitely not one of my faves. Um, out of the out of the foundations that Melena mentioned, I do not have the Makeup Forever. I used to have um, their pressed powder, um, and that was like my favorite powder. I know like every chocolate girl usually goes for, um, what is it, NW45 from MAC, um, but you should try Makeup Forever's powder. Um, it's comparable to that. It does cost more, um, but I love, love, love that shade, and I'll have to look and see what shade I had and leave that down below. Um, so I haven't tried the liquid foundation. The Lancome and the Huda um, are two of my faves and so I would definitely recommend that. The Lancome can be used more so like an everyday because it's not as full coverage um, as the Huda foundation, but it is buildable. So it just depends on like how much you use. Both of us don't use that much foundation. Like a little, little drop of foundation goes like a really long way with all of them. So 
But for Julia, I'm going to say it's a no for me. We just didn't enjoy this. So I was going to, so we'll try this. I mean, if you want this color and you want to try it, you can have it. <laughs> I'll try it. We'll yeah. see. We'll see Maybe, what happens. It, we'll see. Maybe that'll match her better. I don't know. But we, I, overall, My we color like was it. too dark also. Yeah. That just, I, I, I feel really like, like I can it. contour with the shade that I got as my foundation. And I will say we did, like we, we apply our makeup, we set with powder, you know. Um, we use the resting boss face from Huda. It still transfers, so that does not, I mean, it's, it's gonna come off on everything. So we tried different things to kind of keep it from getting on all our fingers and clothes and everything else, but yeah. it doesn't work for us. So we're moving on from that. <laughs> That's our foundation. So again, we have the Lancome, we have the Huda, we have the Makeup Forever which we like, well, I like, and then we have the ju Juvius <laughs> that just didn't work out for we'll, us. We'll try it again. I'll yeah. try it for you guys on camera. Maybe like we can do another video and I'll try this shade in Angola and then we'll kind of see where it goes. So I'll, I'll give it another chance, but for now, it's just not my favorite. Even just squeezing the tube, like you can tell, <laughs> it's thick. Like, yeah, I like things thick, but not my foundation. Moving on. <laughs> um, so, okay. Melinda's gonna talk about some of the new um, lip and lash products that she just recently got. And then we'll move on and talk about um, eyeshadows and highlighters. Okay, so I'll start with my lippies that I recently got because I got like a whole bunch, well, I say whole bunch. I got like five from um, Colored Rain. I went into this thing where I was just like, I want to try just like different black owned type companies. So Colored Rain, um, I saw them first on Instagram and then when I went to their site, they had um, all these beautiful women and different of different shades with all these different colors on it and I wanted to try some of them. So the one that really got me was Pink Panther and it's funny because I bought it but I haven't even tried it on yet. They had a what? very... <laughs> They had a very, very pretty chocolate bottle in it, and she put it on. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a pretty bright pink. Maybe you should swatch them. Oh, okay, I guess I could do that. I hate swatching because I waste my little lipstick. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is um, Pink Panther. Again, this is Colored Rain. They do have an Instagram, and then they have a website. I ordered online. I'm, I don't think they sell this in a store anywhere yet, but I do like them a lot. I don't know if you can tell. That's pretty. Yeah, it's like an electric pink. So that's what it looks like. I'm really far, but I hope y'all can tell. Um, it's really pretty. Like, that's bomb. And what I've noticed about their lippies so far is they're, I mean, they're full coverage and they last me. So I have a problem. I don't know what it is with my lips. Nothing really lasts on me at all. Once I eat, drink, an hour goes by, you look at me and my lips have like, all the lipstick is gone. So, um, no matter what it says on it, whether it says long wear or not, it's gone. This one actually does last on me and I like it. So, um, that is the Pink Panther by Colored Rain. So that's number one. The other ones that I got, again, when I, let me go back and say this, they were all on sale for $5. The ones that I'm showing you from Colored Rain, that's, that's why I bought them. <laughs> they were on sale for $5, so I went ahead and just got like five of them. Pink Panther, then I have Amazing Rain, which is another pink. This one's not so electric, it's more like a Barbie pink. So, um, yeah. It looks like your nails. Yeah, it does. It's pretty much the same color as my nails. So I'll show y'all what this one looks like. Does also, it dry fully matte? Yes. So I have one of their lippies on now, and it's one of the ones I have in front of me. So it does dry fully matte. Um, so this is going to be the Amazing Rain is that one. So it's like a Barbie pink. So I really, really like that one as well. Very, very pretty. Again, they're very full coverage because I'm brown and it's, <laughs> it's on there. So um, moving on to Electric Rain, that is the one that I have on now. It is orange pretty much. Right, would you say? Yeah. Um, I wear it, like when I wear coral, I typically put it on because it just kind of makes the colors pop a little bit. Um, I do not, I haven't been wearing lip liners with these because I have really dark lips anyway, but it, it pretty much covers. If I line them with the lipstick, it pretty much is there and I'm good. Um, so again, I already have electric rain on, you can see it, it's orange. You know, I could put another layer on there if I wanted to, but it does dry matte. 
um, they dry matte, but they're not like drying. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah, I don't feel like my lips are like gonna crack and fall off. So that's a good thing about that. That's a great thing. So that's um, the electric ring that I already have on. Um, this one is going to be WWW. Now I feel like Whitney and I, no matter what the brand is, we always get a color that's like this. <laughs> no matter what it is. So every brand, we have this color in like everything. Yeah. Um, it's like a pinkish purple. I just feel like it looks good on our skin, so we always tend to go that direction. And I'll swatch it for y'all. And this is WWW. Yeah, it's the same color that we be getting. <laughs> that we get everything else. So it's this that last one here. And it's like a pinkish purple. More purple. So that just looks really good on brown skin. It does. Yeah. It does. I didn't even realize until I put all my lippies side by side. We keep buying the same. That I keep buying the same colors. Who else is guilty of buying stuff in the exact same colors? When you like it, you like it, right? You like it, you like it. So I wanted to get away from like the pinks and the purple. So I did this one, which is like, um, it's called Frappe. Frappe. <laughs> Frappe. It's called Frappe. <laughs> Um, this one's you good. work on your friend. <laughs> this one's a little lighter. I, I grew up in Texas, so we learned Spanish. Um, <laughs> we know. <laughs> so, um, this one is like a mauve color. And it's, it's very light. I also didn't wear, it's bright at the top here. So, that's what it looks like. It's mauve. Um, kind of a pale, pale pink. Um, again, very full coverage. It does stay on for quite a while unless you just really are eating something. But it stays on as well. So I did like that when I wore that one to work. It's just more calm. Um, because I'm dark, of course, it still stands out. Um, and then lastly, this is not color rain. I, well, not lastly, but this is one of the wild cards. And it's just one of the things that I just have in my purse all the time. This is a luster matte lip color. And it's actually Sephora brand. I love these from them. They're a little cheaper. I want to say they're like $8 or something like yeah. that. They're fairly cheap. It comes with a short little tube. But it's just something that if you want to quickly apply and go, you're able to do that. It does also dry matte. It's very close to the Frappe um, that I have from Color Rain. But it's not as full coverage. And I will say that it does not stay as well on... Um, on my lips as the color gray. So it's this one. And it's just a little bit deeper than the frappe. So, what I wanted to mention earlier, this one, which is, again, the electric gray that I have on, I got this because, what was it, two weeks ago, I don't know if you caught the live that we did, I broke my Rihanna <laughs> lip stunner paint in that coral color that she has on Whitney's bathroom floor on her tile, broke everywhere. And I was very sad about my lip color. Also, I scrubbed her tile for how many days? Three or four days? <laughs> two, two, two days, okay, well, two. it felt like three or four. Um, two days. I scrubbed her tile with everything, bleach, uh, ammonia, like everything you can think of to get it out. Like whatever Rihanna uses, it works because that's, it does not come out. Thank you, Ree, for the good <laughs> lipstick, but no thank you for, if you get this lipstick on anything, good luck you love getting, getting it, out. it out. Good luck. Bleach That's didn't all I get it say. out. I'm talking about, it was. Bleach can't even take it out. Yeah, I was sad, so I'm going to have to replace that color, but yeah. moving on to Rihanna, I do have two of the Fenty lip, was it Lip Center Lip Paints? Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sun and lip paints here. So I really like these two. I also, you know, of course, have the coral. This one is the red. Whitney also has this one. Yeah, I love that one. She's the one that put me on to this one. I really like it. It's called Uncensored. It's a very, very good red. And I will say what I like about these is, is they, they don't come off either. So they stay on. And for me, that was a win. Um, they are buildable. Like when I usually, when I put on like the first coat, you can see through it. So like I usually put it on. I kind of hold my lips open a little bit to let it dry before I start rubbing. And then I'll, you know, put it on, on another layer and build it that way. And it does dry it really fast. Yeah, though, very so. fast. Yeah. Like it's I do this mind. like over my lips blow a little bit and it dries. So this is the uncensored. It's very red. And then I'll help them blow a little bit. You would. Anyways. You said it. 
<laughs> you were thinking it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is, this is unlocked. <laughs> this is their like, again, another pink. I really like their pinks. Um, well, I just like pinks in general, but this is a really good one. It does not come off. I like her applicators as well. So I don't know if you've seen them before, but this is what Rihanna's lip paint applicators look like and you can just put it on and line your lips with that and you really don't need a lip liner so i do like those from her okay so those are all my lippies if you have questions comments concerns whatever put it in the comment box and we will answer okay so do you want me to move on to my lashes mm -hmm. okay so <laughs> i recently went on instagram as i usually do and i just buy stuff right so I saw this girl that I follow. I think her Instagram name is Red Fairy. She's really, really pretty. She wears like contacts and she makes wigs and she has lashes. So I was like, let me try some of her lashes, right? So let me tell you guys what I usually wear. I usually wear strip lashes or, in, or actually eyelash extensions. Um, but when I wear strip lashes, I use Lily lashes. And my favorite is the Mykonos. This one is used. I've had it on already, so you see a little <laughs> blue eyeliner on there. But this is the pair that I usually wear. This is my favorite one. Even when I wear so extra Mykonos, which is like a like the next step up from this style, it pretty much looks the same way. It's maybe a little bit longer, but this is the relative feel that you get from it. So this is Lily Lashes, and I do love her stuff. Um, we still buy Lily Lashes. They do sell them at Sephora, I believe. Mm -hmm. And these are 3D mink strip lashes. I have those on right now. That's yeah. Why. Okay, yeah. So that's what they look like on. So when I went to Red Fairy's Instagram, I was like, you know what? I always wear just, you know, these, you know, little lashes. I used to have used to have a problem. I get lashes that look too natural. Never look like I had lashes on. So I decided, okay, I moved up to Lily. Let me try something else. Now. I went to the stream, so you see the lashes I have on now. These are some lashes from Red Fairy. Um, these are the style Anissa, and I really, really like them. They look really good in pictures, but they are big, and I have very small eyes. So, um, that is another statement. They're big. I don't know if you can tell, like even from the side, they're really big, but I like them. From they're the like, side, <laughs> it literally, we were in the Uber and I looked at the side of her face and I was like, it almost looks like a weft, like a track is on her lashes. I love them. They're super, super, super dramatic, really pretty. So, you know, night out. Not for work. <laughs> Not for work. Not for work. Depending on where you work. Yeah. Depending on where you work. Um, but in corporate America, probably no. It's a no. Um, but they're really, really pretty. I love them. So her Instagram now I think is Red Fairy, but on the package it says Fairy Stylish. So if you're looking for her on Instagram, it's either Red Fairy or Fairy Stylish. And she does have two Y's in uh, Fairy. So just throwing that out.